Hello and welcome everyone to a yet another episode of Talent Talks, a novel initiative taken by Applers to share some useful and valuable insight with our prospective talent coming straight from the horse's mouth, our deployed talent themselves, who have been a part of this industry for quite some time now. Today, our guest is Amresh Parida, who is a software developer by profession and currently deployed with Leica Digital, a leading global telecom company for quite some time. So, Amrish, uh, welcome. And can you just introduce yourself a little bit? Hello, everyone. And thank you, Nithya, for having me here. I'm very delighted to be the part of this program. I have been working in software industry for more than five years now. Currently, I'm deployed with Leica Digital. It's a global telecom industry. Most of the telecom operations are based in entire Europe, Australia, South Africa, and USA. So I have been working with Leica Digital for over a year now and it's been an amazing journey so far. That's really amazing, Amrish. Now that you're working with the Leica Digital as a full stick developer, so can you tell me something about the something about your role or something about the culture, your the people you're working with and what impact have you brought? Anything? So here at Leica Digital, uh, I'm responsible for creating REST APIs, writing server-side logics and querying databases for maintaining or like a mobile portals that actually helps to help us to like uh, enhance the user experience of the all like a mobile portals so i have learned a lot of things here at Leica, like uh, code optimization writing code in a better way and integrating some digital marketing tools like uh, metapixel red double to the e-commerce platforms so that it enhances the sales of the company and we it also help us to monitor this the sales so apart from that uh, as, as i told i am a full stack developer so i am working on front end as well as back end tasks also so so depending on the depending on the like a requirement most of the time i work as a back end developer so like sometimes i work as integrating some ui to the back end services so here at Leica, the work culture and the environment and the, all the people, my team members, they are all supportive. So like they all helped me during my initial day when I joined Leica. So I don't feel like that I'm struggling here with a new project, a new tech. Oh, it's not a, like a new tech stacks, but it's an entirely new project. So when we step to a new project, it's uh, almost like a difficult for any developer to understand and to integrate or debug this kind of applications that at Leica we are doing. So the team members, they help me a lot. So the support manager is a very nice guy. So apart from that, like the work from home and the flexible timings I am getting. So this help this is helping me to having a happy mindset here. So what I'm doing here at Leica, I'm really enjoying. That's really good to know, Amrish. Uh, I mean, as an employee, this is what we wish for, you know, a happy culture, a supportive team. So moving forward, I want to know that any tools and technology that you think are very important in full stick development. So software development has evolved a lot in recent years. So progressive web apps are more popular as opposed to the native web development. So in progressive web apps, we have uh, single page applications. Uh, these are written in like latest JavaScript frameworks like React, Vue.js or Angular. So a full stack developer must have the knowledge of this JavaScript frameworks. So apart from that, uh, to continue as a backend developer that go with JavaScript, you can go with uh, Node.js other, or else uh, you can continue his career with uh, Java, PHP, Python is there. Uh, apart from that, some DevOps tool or full stack developer must have. So like uh, maintaining to maintain the server and the pipelines like deployment pipelines like uh, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins like and Webpacks. So Docker is now very popular in the market. So apart from that, the data structure skills a uh, developer must have. So uh, soft in software engineering, data structure is a must have thing for any programming language is moving forward with and apart from that the debugging skills uh, is the most required thing that all the companies are looking for in a full stack developer. Amrish this was really helpful 
and i want to know do you have any message for the aspiring talents who are looking to build their career in software development so for instance uh, there are various coding languages available so to be a successful full stack developer a uh, person must have specialized uh, any programming language just like a javascript so javascript is the most popular programming language and javascript is like everywhere like from the mobile application to desktop application to web apps javascript is running everywhere so he could choose javascript for the full stack career path so he can learn some javascript frameworks and libraries like react angular js vue and node js so like a full stack developer must have skills of back end as well as front end development so in front end uh, these are the tools that i mentioned now in back end side you can go with node express or if you wish to continue as a python developer you can learn python and its frameworks like django or php laravel wordpress so all these are like some trending back end technologies so php is also a very good tech stack so php is also like a, most of the web applications or web services on the internet like 80 to 70 to 80% are written in php so php will be there so but javascript is also must think must to have a thing so apart from that uh, he must have some database skills he must understand the sql queries and must have knowledge of no sql queries also so these are the things that a hiring manager look towards for a full stack developer thank you so much amrish i think the aspiring talents are going to find this really useful well apart from technical skills do you have any other skills uh, suggestion that a software developer must have so as a uh, as a software developer you will be working with uh, different clients that to from different uh, geographies and all this will be like a multicultural environment so here not only the technical skills that matters so apart from that the other life skills like uh, communication with the client or with your team members and adaptability to the project to the new team members and teamwork so all these things are also very important so in today's uh, competitive landscape like where like remote culture is going on so like here your effective uh, communication through virtual environment and team collaboration so all these things are very important to be a successful software developer and to be the part of the uh, part of any leading software organ organization all right amrish so last question of this session any uh, quick takeaways you want to give for the upcoming software developers uh, up a uh, uh, upcoming software developer must choose their area of specialization so like they must pick any programming language and be an expert on this like they must uh, if they are going towards to become a full stack developer so they need to learn uh, languages like python php java javascript and for a front end developer they need to be an expert on react angular or vue js so apart from they like some uh, database like uh, sql database and no sql database they must have knowledge of this database as well so and uh, like uh, with the current scenario like this technologies are growing every day so they need to update themselves with the new technologies and the new uh, frameworks so this will help them for their career to be a full stack developer so now like uh, most of the companies like remote companies that they are coming in india for their for hiring uh, remote uh, developers so they must have like a proper communication and uh, teamwork work like a virtual uh, teamwork adaptability so the skills are i'll i'll suggest for the upcoming software developers thank you so much amrish for your time and of course these valuable insight i mean people i'm really sure someone who is looking to build their career in this field would see value in it all right you guys if you like this video and find it really useful then like it share it with your friends if you have any question then ask us in the comments and hit the subscribe button right now so that we can see you in the third episode soon okay bye